Creating a strong social media presence is an incredibly important aspect of creative businesses today. If you are a creative business owner or have any kind of online social media presence, then you know how important it can be to have beautiful, strong, and clear graphics to establish yourself on social media. What makes things a little more difficult is that each platform has their own rules as to what size your graphics need to be. Instagram's default is square, but they also have Instagram stories, which is tall, and Facebook loves horizontal images and Pinterest graphics will perform best if they are taller than they are wide. The easiest way I have found to keep up with it all is to basically create templates for each platform and use those templates to help me plan out post themes, color themes, and content. In this month's class, I'm going to show you the process that I use to create social media post templates in Affinity Designer right on your iPad. Hi everyone, if this is your first class with me, welcome. And if you're a returning student, welcome back. I'm Jen and I will be guiding you through this creative course. I'm a freelance graphic designer, illustrator, and educator based out of the Midwest and I run Bella and Sophia Creative Studio. If you wanna learn more about me, you can visit me online at www.bellasophiacreative.com and you can also check out my YouTube channel, The Freelance Life. There you will get a behind the scenes view of the work that I do as a creative freelancer and educator, as well as access to a huge library of additional free tutorials relating to art, design, and illustration. I'm a huge advocate for sharing knowledge in accessible ways, and I found that online courses and places like YouTube are really great for this and help me to connect to a really diverse group of people who are looking to learn and grow. So what is this class about and what are you gonna learn? In today's class, we are going to be learning about and designing social media templates in Affinity Designer on our iPad that we can use over and over again to plan and organize our social media content. For this course in particular, we will be focusing on designing Instagram posts in square format, but you can update the size to fit your needs. For some of you though, it might make sense to create several different social media templates for each type of post that you publish. Before we jump into the technical aspects of working in the Affinity Designer iPad app, we will go over design tips that will help make your post strong and keep your process streamlined. Then we're gonna get into creating an Affinity Designer. We will go over setting up your files, creating guidelines, the importance of working in layers, and the different tools that are available in the software for you to use. So when it comes to the class, the tools that you'll need are an iPad with an Apple Pencil and the Affinity Designer app. You can download it at affinityserif.com. So for the class project, we're gonna be creating a series of Instagram posts an Affinity Designer. You can adjust to your needs, but for the ease of use in the class, we're gonna create a set of three Instagram posts in square format that can be used as templates for future work. The posts are gonna be broken down into the following format. The first post will include a basic post, the second will be a featured work post, and the third will be a three slide graphic that's kind of like an informational post relating to you or your work. When you're done with your post, you can export them as JPEG files and load them to Instagram and share a screenshot of your profile as your class project for the course project gallery. But if you prefer not to share your social media page, that's totally fine. You can also just take a screen cap of your Affinity Designer screen as you're working when you finalize all of your posts. And then you can just share that to the course project gallery as well. I'm really excited to create something great with you today. Let's get started.